what's for dinner tonight? Oh, what about the kids' allergies? How about macaroni and cheese? She can't have cheese, he can't have wheat. How about chicken teriyaki with rice? She gets sick from rice, he hates chicken. Tacos? He can't eat corn, she hates ground meat. Lasagna? Dairy. Subs? Wheat. Forget it, let's just go out for pizza. Only one kid can eat that. I kid you not, these are the thoughts that go through my mind when I sit down to make my menu for the week. <sighs> Dealing with kids with allergies, it's like, what's for dinner tonight? I know, I know exactly how you feel. So these are the ideas that I've gone through. These are the tips I have for you to deal with the chaos of allergy living that's just part of our lives. So this is what I've done to survive the craziness. <laughs> Number one, I accept that not every kid will like every dinner. Number two, make a system that works. You don't want to be last minute every day going, oh no, what's for dinner? At some points I've made a set menu, three week menu, so we know in advance exactly what's going to be every single day. But then we got bored of that at some point, so we made another system that worked for us. What I happened to like was making every day of the week something that we knew what the main dish was going to be. So that way, when we got to it, I could always make a variety. So on ground meat day, I could either make hamburgers or I could make shepherd's pie or I could make spaghetti and meatballs, but we knew it was gonna be ground meat. Number three, make one main dish that everyone can eat and then make a few variety of sides for the you know different allergies. So for example, when I make spaghetti and meatballs, I chock it full of nice healthy vegetables, put yummy sauce and meat, and then everyone can eat it, but I make two different varieties, sometimes three different varieties of noodles to go with it. You know, you've got the core noodles, the rice noodles, and the regular noodles, usually only two, but you've got gluten-free and regular. So you can do that when you've got the main dish and then this different variety of sides. Number four, use an online menu planner. I discovered this online menu planner called Real Plans, and I'm like, is this for real? I'm in love with it. I'm literally in love with it. First of all, it's all natural. They're gonna give you all natural ingredients, which is so refreshing for the world today. And secondly, you can go in there and pick all the ingredients that you cannot have and that you they will never put in any of your suggested plans. So it's like heaven for people with allergies. And you can always like, you know, you know, like this one, pick that one out, ask for something else instead. And then they'll even make you an entire shopping list so that all I need to do is print and go to the store. Oh. Kids with allergies is all part of the challenge of parenting. It's part of the plan. What's for dinner tonight? Kids with allergies. Oh my goodness, I've been there, I've done that. I know all about it, but you know what? It's all part of the fun of being a miracle maker mom. <laughs>